Hello everyone, hope you all are doing very well. With this video, I'm going to start a very new series on the role of artificial intelligence or AI in the drug discovery. Looking at the current state of drug discovery process where a molecule becomes a drug, it's really a very long and tedious 10 year worth of process which includes over a billion dollar of investment made the drug available in the market. The very first step is the process of drug discovery where most of the scientists they work in dry or the wet labs working into the petri dish looking for the new strategies to get a drug into the body and test a combination of infinite molecular compounds to see that which particular one single compound can create a drug. After a molecular compound is found promising and if the scientist or a group of scientists think that it has the best chance of being effective, then the drugs moves out from the discovery process to the preclinical trials where the chemical compound or the molecular compound is being tried on various lab animals as well as some limited available simulations. At this time, few combinations related to the drug are tested on certain envir environment to make the drug available for the further level of testing. Most of the startups during this time perform the INB enable studies which is basically a formal request to FDA or the Food and Drug Administration so that they can start dosing the human. Some new startups such as Systemic Bio and the CN Bio are using a novel ways to create organ on a chip or using the method of bioprinting. It means creating the artificial human organ and then applying the chemical compound or the molecular compound to the synthetic human organ to mimic the test. This way, the various aspects of the molecular compound such as toxicity as well as its impact on various human cells can be read before drug is being applied to the human. Finally, in the third phase, the drug hits the clinical trial where in several steps, the drug is being given to a small amount of humans all the way to a larger group of humans as the trial progress and a positive results being discovered or counted. There are several new startups are working in the clinical trials phase to provide various support such as providing remote clinical trials, finding the better ways to arrange the trial candidates by using a large amount of data and a various group of participants so that clinical trial phase can be expedited. However, the clinical trial is the valley of death where majority of the drug just could not pass. We can also call it the graveyard of the drugs. Finding right patient for the trial is very important and several new startups are trying to fulfill the need of finding the educate or the just right human profile so that drug can be administered and result can be collected. If and when the clinical trials are completed, the drug moved into the last and the fourth phase of its discovery and goes in the hand of Food and Drug Administration or the FDA review. The FDA approves the drug based on three criteria. First to check if the drug is safe, it means the drug toxicity in the human body is almost zero to none. Second, if the drug is really effective, it means the drug is made for whatever reason, it fulfills its promise. And finally, there is no better drug available in the market. Almost after spending a billion dollars and waiting for the 10 years of journey, the molecule and the molecular compound finally becomes the drug and goes for the market. Even this 10 year of time span and a billion dollar investment does not deter the drug companies to keep working hard and researching for the drug. Even when the failure rate is almost over 90%. 
the drug development business is so profitable that based on crunch based data as of now in year 2022 over 70 billion dollar has already been invested by the drug companies to manufacture new drug looking into the role of startups in the field of drug discovery is quite interesting also by using the crunch based data over 1.7 billion dollar has already been invested in this year out of 364 billion total invested globally so the number 1.7 billion dollar is quite small comparative to overall investment however looking into the growth based on ai based drug discovery platform since 17 this number is very significant and that is the promise as well as the potential of ai to provide greater assistance going forward in the field of drug discovery this rising cost of drug development as well as the 90 percent of failure rate is the silver lining where the industry is looking for artificial intelligence or the machine learning to bring its help so that the 10 year can be reduced to lower number of years as well as the cost which is about a billion dollar can also be reduced and that's where i see a big opportunity where ai engineers as well as the software engineer anybody who is in that spectrum will be able to come and assist the drug development the first phase of drug discovery mostly happens in the laboratory where a molecule has been found and checked to make it a molecular compound and very first property the lab scientists really find to see the solubility of that particular molecular compound because the drug or the molecular compound has to be soluble so that it can travel into the bloodstream or any particular liquid in the body or the bodily fluid and can attach to its target in the next pre-clinical trials step the scientists they look for the target for their molecular compound so that this molecular compound can swim to in the body and deliver the therapeutical properties to make the target perfect the lab scientists they need to make sure that the molecule doesn't mistake a healthy protein for a target otherwise the drug or the molecular compound which is swimming around in the body may attach to this healthy protein or the healthy target and it will kill that healthy cell which will constitute to the poison or the toxicity in the body however if the scientist finds the molecular compound attached to a target protein or other cellular structure then in the preclinical trials that target cell has to be taken out and tested in the lab for the better asymmetry with the molecular compound the third and the very crucial step in the drug discovery is the clinical trial which is also referred as the valley of death the molecular compound try to bind with various proteins and when the molecular compound attached to a particular cell structure such as protein if it doesn't kill then it considered as a success test versus if after the attachment if the target cell died or get killed during this molecular compound binding then it's considered as the failed test it means that the drug is not safe for the human and it is the most prominent reason for any drug to fail which produce the unintended toxicity in the body because of the molecular compound interaction with the target cellular structure such as protein and that's where the drug fails by the time it has already amounted large amount of cash as well as the significant amount of time if the drug passes the test it went into the fda process where about the 10 percent of the drugs can really achieve their intended target it means available as the fda approved drug in the market the role of ai becomes very significant in the clinical trial stage where the data related to the molecular compounds is collected as well as 
cellular structure data which includes protein as well as the other amino acids. Now using an AI based simulation in this simulated environment, the various amounts of molecular compound and its interaction with various cellular structure is checked and a collection of targeted protein which survive during this simulation has been identified. So most of the AI based simulation, they really reduce the number of toxic combinations which reduce the chances of toxicity poison in the body. So using the AI based drug discovery solutions in the clinical trials actually has two factors. First is the high cost of performing the clinical trials as well as the significant amount of the time. And that is what constitute the cost and the time investment done in clinical trials. However, applying an AI based simulation, the time as well as the cost both can be decreased to a significant level, which helps the organization to reduce both cost and the time to bring the drug into the market. And that is the place where AI based drug discovery platforms reduce both the cost as well as the time. Some startups such as Ture uses AI to assess that which part of the molecule can correlate strongly with the target cell structure. And based on the findings, the Tere AI drug development platform can make these newer molecules which can correlate even more strongly to the target cell. And this process can be refined again and again in the drug discovery platform. So the leveraging the data of both molecular compound as well as the cellular structure, the drug discovery platforms can predict the better outcome or the concise outcome of the drug at the start of the process before even performing the in-depth preclinical as well as the clinical trials. After the great success of DeepMind AlphaFold, now over 200 millions of protein structures are available freely for any organization to accelerate their scientific research. And very recently, the Meta, the Facebook parent company research resulted over 617 million protein structures in their Meta Genomic Atlas. So with the availability of over 600 millions of protein structure, we can see the significant growth in the use of AI based systems to assist in the drug discovery phase. So the AI based drug discovery platforms are still new even after five plus years of significant investment and some success. There is still a long way to go because any AI based drug discovery platforms require the deep understanding of the computational biology, chemistry and the machine learning. When it is not enough, the data must be needed in order for these AI platforms to work and for that both genomics and the transcriptomics is used to provide the massive amount of data which is required for applying computational biology along with chemistry and machine learning. While the genomics is the study of a complete set of DNA including all of its genes in a person or any organism where the transcriptomics is the study of RNA molecules in a cell. So the transcripto mix is used to learn more about how genes are turned on in different types of cell and how they may help cause certain disease such as cancer. All of these things together and with the availability of the cheap compute resources due to advances in the cloud technology, the future of AI based drug discovery platform is quite bright. So that's where I would like to leave you with more questions than answers. The most important question is how the AI engineers, machine learning engineers, data scientists can help in the field of AI based drug discovery and drug development. We have just started. I have found several open source component libraries which are very beneficial to get anyone started. And in the next coming videos, I'm going to spend a significant amount of my time to evaluate, learn and share all my findings with all of you through this channel. Until then, thank you so much for your time and I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video.